What is up YouTube? I am Cosmic Fro, and today we have another Mortal Kombat 1 news roundup video for you guys today on the channel and we have a lot of good stuff to talk about so let's get right into it. The footage I'm going to be using is from Ketchup and Mustard. You guys can check them out on YouTube at PNDKNM and they are you know some of the best content creators out there so this is coming from their Twitch. I'll have a link in the description, of course. So the first thing we're going to talk about today, guys, is the stress test. Of course, we just had the stress test over the weekend. I was not fortunate enough to receive a code for the stress test, but I was out here. I was watching, you know, I was migrating streams and, you know, seeing what uh, what information I could get. And there was actually a lot learned from the stress test this weekend. I compiled a bunch of videos and sort of just feedback on Twitter and I'll kind of just showcase them here. So first off, we'll just start with the feedback. Let's talk about movement. So this is generally the most accepted uh, sort of reception to the game is that the movement needs to be improved in some way, shape or form, whether that be dash block or just a faster movement option. We see on Twitter, Sonic Fox and Scar in the mentions of Ed Boon um, for his Q&A saying that dash block should make a return. Ninja Kla agreeing that dash block or some faster movement similar to MK9 should return. So um, I think NRS is going to take this feedback to heart and maybe speed up the movement of the game a bit. That was really the only real negative uh, feedback I've seen. You know, the, the only other sort of nitpicky thing was that up block should have its own sort of sound cue, um, which Ed Boon responded to saying, thank you for the feedback. So expect up block to maybe have its own sort of sound indication come the full release of the game. Some other feedback actually comes from Mustard, uh, whose footage we we're, we're actually using Ketchup's footage, but comes from the channel. Um, Mustard saying that, you know, he thought Breaker being three bars was a bit excessive at first, but apparently, you know, cameos build bar, everything builds bar really fast in this game. So having meter readily available is seemingly a, you know, non-issue in this game. You're going to, you're going to have meter if you're playing the game efficiently. So breaker being three bars, not a problem to mustard here. Now to some of the juicy stuff from the stress test, I'm going to be showing footage here. Uh, one of the more controversial things to come out from the stress test is this Liu Kang unblockable touch of death sort of setup. It's not a touch of death per se yet, but uh, potential to be a touch of death combo from Dizzy. I'll just showcase it here. Done, it's done, it's done. <laughs> Shaking my head, buddy. So that was pretty awesome. Um, I I fully expect Mortal Kombat One to be broken at release, and uh, you know, let's just let the meta evolve, guys. We we have no idea what uh what other crazy characters and what other crazy stuffs in the game yet. You know, there could be some even more vile shit than this. So, you know, if everything's broken, then, uh, you know, I guess I'm happy, right? We also have some really crazy Kenshi uh, stuff coming from Sonic Fox. I'll just, I'll just play the clips here. Really crazy stuff from Sonic. I just loved watching Sonic play Kenshi over the course of the beta. And um, I'll have links to those clips in the description below. Another crazy discovery we received from Mustard was that punishing an up block with throws does so much damage. Um, especially when you're using the Jax assist. You can actually meter burn the uh, Jax cameo to do more damage on a forward throw. Just check out the damage, guys. I'm meet about it now. Oh my god! Okay, okay, okay. Discovery, throw punishing a whiffed up block makes you take more damage. Because that did 350 damage. Whoa! Hey, Jax. 
350 damage on a empty jump punish for the up block. That is insane. Um, making Jax, you know, a little bit stronger than uh, we thought even if, you know, they do happen to read wrong on the empty jump. That is, uh, that is absolutely insane. Um, but enough clips. Let's talk about some of the news we actually got this week. Onaga. Onaga might be the main villain of Mortal Kombat 1. Uh, this comes by way of Adventures Creator on Twitter. When you do a Liu Kang mirror match, they have an intro dialogue that sort of indicates Onaga to be in the game in some way, shape, or form. So I will play the clip right here. Cage Mansion. Does Onaga exist in your timeline? Exist in it. He rules it. So acknowledging Onaga for the first time, we haven't seen this with Mortal Kombat 1 yet. We sort of speculated that Onaga would be a front runner for villain, but uh, Liu Kang acknowledging Onaga's existence is uh, very strong evidence to say that Onaga will be the main villain in Mortal Kombat 1. Uh, historically, Onaga is a very threatening uh, villain from the 3D era that hasn't been explored since then. So I'm curious. I'm curious to see how they're going to tackle him this time around. Is he still going to be tied to the one being? Are they going to roll with that sort of story or are they going to rewrite Onaga in some way? I'm, I'm just excited to see what they do and if he'll be playable. The only other real news we got for the week was Ed Boon's Truth or Troll poll that he ran on Twitter um, with 10 questions about whether what he's saying is Truth or Troll about Mortal Kombat 1. I had my own dedicated video to Truth or Troll. I'll have a link in the description below and on screen for you guys. But um, sort of teasing Motaro here as well as uh, some new color ninja potentially. Um as well as animalities and other game modes. I love this. I just love that Netherrealm is communicating and asking to see what we want, even if it is already sort of designed into the game or they already know. Um, I just love that, you know, we sort of had this interactive thing with Ed and I hope we get more of it leading up to the release. Now, no combat cast news yet, but I assume once the stress test is over, uh, today is June 25th, so, um, you know, Today is the last day of the stress test. So come the middle of this week or maybe the end of the week, maybe the weekend, I feel like we're going to get a combat cast or, you know, an announcement of sorts about whether we get the combat cast. Um, so yeah, just expect, uh, expect to hear more on that once this stress test is over. But that's going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching the news roundup number four. I know it was sort of just information and uh stuff coming out from the stress test but it is really hyped to see everything that the meta uh is turning into and you know confirmation of onaga is pretty big in itself so but thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy leave a like comment and subscribe i'll have more content just like this coming for the channel and um yeah i can't wait to share more so stay tuned guys thank you peace out